Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Computer Videos. Let's take a second this evening and talk about my V5 TTL video adapter for the Macintosh Plus, SE, SE30, Classic, and Classic 2. As you can see how the card is oriented on your screen right now, the inputs are on the right side of the card and the outputs are on the left side of the card. The card is designed to maximize your options for installation. That's why it includes an IDC 10, solder pads, and through-hole connections. Depending on the Macintosh you'll be using with, you can connect the analog board from that machine to this card, and then connect that to either a period-appropriate TTL monitor or a modern scaling solution like the RGB to HDMI. Simply make the appropriate connections from the analog board in your classic Mac to the input side of the TTL adapter. From there, those signals pass through the inverter chip and then are available in the appropriate orientation on the output side of the board. Let's take a second to look at how the signals are routed through the card. In the interest of clarity, I'll pause on each slide so that you can take a detailed look. This is how the ground passes from the input to the output side of the card. Horizontal sync, vertical sync, and finally, the TTL video signal itself. To ensure the proper operation of your TTL adapter card, be sure to supply positive five volts to the input side of your card on the connector labeled plus five volts. That five volt passes through a filter cap on the board, the inverter IC, and terminates on the output side of the board. To ensure the safety of your equipment on the output side, that five volts is only available via the solder pad and the through hole connection. It does not make itself available on the IDC 10 connection. And from there, you can make an adapter cable that best serves your use case whether that be a period appropriate TTL display or a scaler like the RGB to HDMI. And for enthusiasts looking to make custom ribbon cables for their IDC 10 connections, here is a color breakdown of each signal and which pin it terminates to. And that's it for the TTL adapter version five. I hope that you have as much fun using it as I had fun designing it. Enjoy.